Dive super pilot. Ready to dive. Pilot is ready. Go. Yeah, let him go. Did quite a lot last cruise was help have my co-pilot take the camera. Yeah, which I, I'm starting to think that would help. My name is Amanda Demopoulos. I'm from the USGS. I'm here with Martha Nazinski on the Okeanos Explorer. So anyone who's watching the live feed from the shore side, this is a very exciting dive today. This is the first time we've ever explored this area, middle of Seamount. And as you see it, we're seeing it for the first time. So we're thrilled to be on this adventure with you all and look forward to what we're gonna discover as we ascend. Thanks, pilot. Why the picture's so I'm seeing some yeah. amphipods on the inside of the sponge. Looks like sort of fibrous threads along the inside of the sponge. Some close ups of a crinoid that's on, um, on a branch of a uh, looks like a bamboo coral. Amphipods on this uh, Chrysogorgia. These rocks are basalt. different shapes and sizes here. Okay, how are we for distance? Quick pause for a second, then we'll come out and pick up the lasers from scale. I'll pick the gonad on one of the branches. Another species for the uh, for the diversity of this. It has its uh, flummox. It was very exciting, and that was uh, great imaging. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Roger that. We'll have Nav work that up. Let's find something we haven't seen before. Diving today on the north side of Middle East Seamount, Lydonia Canyon. I have a Nigran Canyon on the west side of the canyon wall. The southwest wall of Hazen Canyon. Diving on uh, USGS on Hazards cliff. Site 1 on uh, with the purpose to investigate small, perhaps recent landslide debris deposits. Oh, 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 it's 
was a swordfish. Swordfish, wow. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's really interesting to be able to see um, these mating pairs eating. You see the barbel extended from the mouth and Stomius is a midwater fish. That coral has the fish. <laughs> Moving in for his close up. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking some images of a, a fish, I think a, a rat tail. It's like a shark. So, definitely a stocked crinoid that we're taking a look at now. We're getting uh, some nice images of this bamboo coral, probably in the uh, genus Lepidisis. Our depth is 1551 meters. So those are scale worms um, crawling along the branch of the um, black coral. Time to turn the other way. Bridge now. Sure. <laughs> wow. My goodness. That is cool. That's awesome. <laughs> what is it, Scott, do you think? I've never seen anything like that before. No, it's no. Suggestions are that perhaps this is uh, made by a nudibranch, but we haven't seen any nudibranchs. We have just seen something incredibly amazing, and um, and it has stumped all of our resident experts. <laughs> I think the polyps on this are retracted. Really, for those of you who are just joining us, maybe for the first time, you have tuned in at, at just the right time because we've just been seeing uh, just fantastic uh, colonies of corals here. Imagine you want a, a point here. I've already marked it, but would you like a, a official point? Uh, let's call it um, the coral forest. Coral forest. <laughs> Um, I record to show that this is the first official target of the dive. Yes, I believe that's true. Uh, you got it. Coral Forest. Thank you. It's only through exploration like this that we can get these views to, to really understand how these corals are distributed and how they're using uh, this habitat. count three egg cases. Um, you see one on uh, each branch kind of on the tip. There's sort of this uh, brown color. You see the ophioid arms kind of coiled around the, the egg case. You can see the polyps close up as the shrimp is walking across the coral.
are happy with that sound? All right, let's continue. Know that new coral is waiting for us around the next corner. So we're seeing the arms of several brittle stars that are using this uh, uh, Canthagorgia as a home. So that coral represents a new family that we haven't been observing on this leg. That may be a species in a, a new family. We've had uh, a few other specimens look similar to that that were collected in the Gulf of Mexico. So again, with all the exploration uh, that we're doing, uh, we continue to find new species for science. This is Martha Nazinski and Amanda Demopoulos. We're helping guide your trip through the canyon today. So we'll continue moving up this uh, feature, uh, taking a look to uh, discover and, and document the different kinds of animals that we're seeing. Uh, we've seen some extremely interesting corals today, as well as a high diversity of sponges. Our current depth is 2820 meters. Stops are filter feeding gelatinous organisms, and what we're looking at here are chains where there are lots of individuals linked together in a form of colony, and they can break apart, take up the solitary existence, but they're constantly swimming and filtering particles out of the water. It's nice to have the resources out on the on the shore of a variety of experts uh, in all different places that can all can be with us today on this dive and, and help with identifications. I think we're seeing a seep here. I think we're seeing a seep. <laughs> How exciting! <laughs> wow. Whoa! <laughs> a true exploration right here. Um, this is definitely a day anything can happen, it seems like. Uh, we didn't know exactly what we would find, and we came upon this habitat uh, as pure surprise, and that's, that's truly exciting. It's exploration in action. We're adventuring into Wonderland at the moment. This is a brave new territory. Well, it was a surprise that we came upon this seep with associated organisms. During this year, we've actually uh, made some great progress in identifying uh, several new seeps along the Northeast US, and it gives us a better understanding of how connected these communities are along a seascape perspective. Roll on, thou deep and dark blue ocean roll. 10,000 fleets have sailed thee in vain. Man's control stops with the shore. All the wrecks, all the wrecks upon thee are thy deed. Something like that. I got some words out of order. What is that from, Jeff? I never heard that. Roll on, thou deep and dark blue ocean roll. By who? Byron. A Tina four inside yeah, another. That's a great shot, video and pilot. More predation in the deep sea. Mm -hmm. Beautiful images of the siphonophore. This species has two lines of suckers on the arms. Imaging of bobtail squid. I'm just seeing the colors change. <laughs> Each of those spots is a little bag of melanin and it's controlled by radial muscles around it. So when it contracts the muscles, it expands the little bag of pigment, which makes the spot get bigger. 
So when it's relaxed, the spot gets really small and difficult to see. It's an octopus up in that up right small corner. cave. Looks like it's hanging on there. <laughs> Uh, we saw one in the, this position a little bit earlier today with uh, its, uh, its uh, suckers uh, showing out from underneath the, the ledge. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like some battle scars on that thing. There's speculation that it might be a Greenland shark. Greenland shark. Yes. Oh, there's another skate. Mm. Oh, a squid. Oh. Uh -oh. Pretty. <laughs> As Bob Carney has suggested that this is a, this is an ammonite fossil in a mudstone matrix. Uh, the rocks would have to be Cretaceous for that to be true, but that's certainly what it looks like. Wow. Oh. <laughs> It's a toadfish. So we have seen this fish in um, a few of the other canyons. Pretty amazing uh, morphology to these walls. It's just phenomenal in some ways, the, the massive structures they are. This whole outcrop may not, in fact, be in place. There are enormous slumps associated with Heeson Canyon, so some of these rocks may actually, uh, the, the, the rocks we view in the ROV may all be displaced and moving down slope good view of, of what looked to be downslope, probably uh, sediment-laden fluid chutes. This is what would happen if a turbidity current, a sediment-laden, a dense current came down the slope uh, that you're looking at, you they would the tend to follow these pressed uh, upslope, downslope features. Wow. Your purple blob is Tritonia, probably a new species, uh, a nudibranch. Wow. Uh, <laughs> a new nice species. I just wanted to convey the amazement of seeing the first nudibranch that I've seen on this entire cruise. There's to be an egg mass. Andrea Quattrini is saying perhaps these are, are fish, fish eggs. eggs. Yeah, it's a hydroid. That's wild. Oh, beautiful. I don't think we've seen a swarm of amphipods <laughs> <laughs> on our uh, travels. Now it's extending its jaws and scooping, and then scooping around. So a good close-up view of a pycnogonid, a sea spider. Tonguefish. Great. So that's three tonguefish tongue on this dive. <laughs> Did he crawl instead of swimming? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Often on terrain like this where it's muddy and flat, uh, we can touch the vehicles down on the bottom ever so gently to get a more stable picture. Wow. This kind of worm could really uh, give worms a, a better image. <laughs> um, a large anemone there. Yeah. yeah, and there's a bivalve at the base. We're seeing clear, dark rock colonized and crusted with all of these different animals. Colony Ooh. coming up here. Let's see what that's all about. Corals aged there are several hundred years old. It is a conservative estimate at best. 
That is quite an impressive base now that we're even closer. We need to finish this shot and yep. set up for so this It's amazing that we always seem to uh, end our dives with just a fabulous image. One of these uh, spectacular corals or other organisms that we have been viewing. Thank you, ROV team and video, for all your help today in making this another successful dive. We're leaving the bottom at a depth of 1621 meters. This is Martha Nazinski here with Amanda Demopoulos, and we thank you for joining us today as we've been able to uh, explore. This was one dive along one single area in a vast area of the canyon that really only gives us a small picture of what we remain. So stay tuned. On your, uh, your must-see deep sea TV. <laughs> <laughs>